What's up, world? Welcome to the Positive Truth, uplifting and positive news for a more progressive society. Tim, what are we trying to bring? Here at the Positive Truth, we're trying to bring awareness, empowerment, inspiration, optimism, and understanding to communities everywhere. Uh, Tim, what you just said, it's on your shirt. I cheated. I, I think cheated. you did cheat. I cheated a little. These shirts, here at the Positive Truth, I'll turn them around real quick. Are new, obviously, <laughs> as you can tell. We've had them for a few weeks now. Um, we actually have a picture on our Instagram if you haven't checked that out, at The Positive Truth. Um, mm -hmm. The cool thing is about these shirts, all proceeds will be going to three, one of your choosing different organizations, nonprofit organizations at that. What are those, those organizations, JP? The Positive Tomorrows, which gives back to the homeless and um, homeless children in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. The American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, which we just talked about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And what we talked about last week, Sexual Assault Organization, F-A-I-N-N. Indeed. All proceeds, all profits we're going to be making for these shirts will go to those organizations, whichever one you guys choose whenever you buy a shirt. The shirts are only $20. So please, if you like them and if you want to support us and support what we're doing, buy one, rock it, look good in it, and support Lusavis. So if they want to support, where they can, where can they find us at? You can find us on any of our social media platforms, our email, whatever the case may be. You can follow us on Facebook at The Positive Truth Podcast, on Twitter at TPT underscore podcast, on Instagram at The Positive Truth. You can find us on iTunes, YouTube, Google Play, and SoundCloud. Did I miss anything? Tim, I wasn't listening. Man, we got to do better at this. You know what we need to do, JP? We just need to do a whole episode over listening. So let's do it right now. Okay, that's right, indeed, Let's freestyle. Let's do this right now. You know what? I'm going to close the laptop. We don't need it right now. Let's what, talk. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to talk about, Tim? Let's talk about listening, man. Why is listening an issue today? Because there's so many things going on in our lives. I got to work. I got this phone blowing up. I got an email blowing up. I got 995 missed emails. Man, that was my laptop for real. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, for sure. And, and we have to communicate better since we're doing less face-to-face -face interactions these days mm -hmm. and more over a device. So we need to learn to listen better since we're doing it less often. Mm. There's something that you always say. Can you say it real quick? I know what you, you know what I'm talking about. You always say, we need to listen to. We need to listen to understand and not to respond. I love that. I want to start off with that because the reason I think it's an issue today is because the kids ask questions. We did a, a couple episodes a couple weeks ago. Um, and. A bunch of my athletes and kids from U.S. Grand High School sending these questions, and one of them was about listening. You know, why don't adults listen to us? And the reason I think it's an issue is because these kids truly believe that nobody is listening to them. There's other yes. adults actually our age that are, I just don't feel like I'm getting listened to. So us as a whole, as a society, we got to do better at it. And in order for us to do better at it, we have to talk about it. There were like 23 questions we did, and I would say a solid half of them were about some sort of listening skill. Exactly. And it was kid to kid and mainly children didn't feel like the adults were listening to them and then after we stopped recording tim was talking about like i like the adults above me they're just not listening to me man my elders aren't listening so it's, it's going everywhere indeed we all need to improve cool thing about listening though it's one of those skills you can work on all the time that you can get better by practicing practice on your listening skills and the more you do it the better you're going to be at it if you're listening effectively. Yeah, if you're listening effectively. It builds relationships, it solves problems, and it makes you more efficient as a person. And more people will like you if you listen to them. Because everyone likes to talk about themselves. And you're not lying. <laughs> Everybody has something to say for sure. So Tim, when, when were, were some times in your life where you didn't feel like you were being listened to? Whew. Uh, let's talk about my coaching career. So okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm a pretty young coach. Uh, I'm 28. I've been coaching for about seven years now, a little over seven years now. So, you know, I started pretty young working with high school kids. I'm a small guy, as you can tell. And, you know, I'm getting treated like a child by my coworkers because I started coaching at the high school I actually went to. So you're talking about teachers that taught me. Or, I'm not going to respect you, you know, like, why should I? I was your teacher type of situation. And, uh, you know, I would give my opinion for change, you know, in a positive way, because that's what we do here at The Positive Truth. So, you know, I try to bring it to every every part of my life, you know, to try okay. to really, truly, honestly, to try to fully commit to this whole positive lifestyle. And I definitely wasn't getting listened to. I know I wasn't getting listened to, you know, it made me feel kind of like a child. Like I felt like, you know, I guess some, you know, a nobody right now, you know what I mean? It definitely messed with my confidence. So me talking about positive change to at work and not getting listened to by your superiors, it's definitely not a good feeling. So, 
I can think of times when I haven't been listened to, and I can, I like to say I told you so, but I like to do it in a really weird way. So I'll, I'll have some like screw up, but they didn't listen to me, and then I'll ask them a question like, wait, what happened there? <laughs> because I know the answer to the question, and I'm like, it's like, uh, huh, hmm, hmm. They tell me the answer, I'm like, I think I might have heard that before, and I walk away. So I, I definitely experienced that before. You're in a workplace, it's like, why is nobody paying attention to me? Bruh. <laughs> and it, all, it often feels like the people above you, it doesn't matter if it's adult, if you're a child, or managers, bosses, they don't seem to understand because they don't really care to ask. And oftentimes in workplaces, people above you don't ask what's going on. I'll tell you a story. So my friend, you know, we're close, he's telling me a story about someone he was hanging out with. Like, I'm not gonna hang out with her anymore. I was like, why? He was like, I just don't think she is a positive influence in my life. And I was like, why is that? He was like, every time we talk, she tells me all about her day. This, 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 and I listen to her and I respond. And then it's my turn to vent. It's like, ah, I gotta go. Mm. Like, and what he was saying was like, she's not listening to me. And that happens a lot. Man. So I got 10 ways you can become a better listener. Hold on, real quick. So you're saying listening could affect your relationships with other people? Huh, what are we talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes I can too. Huh, what are we talking about? <laughs> Try to pull that on. <laughs> Let's knock it out. So the first one is one you already said. So listen to understand and not just to respond. Man, I, I swear that's my favorite quote from you. So, like of all time. <laughs> <laughs> fist pump. <laughs> if you're listening audio, me. Super fist pump. Because sometimes, like, someone's talking and the only thing you're thinking is, I got a rebuttal, I got a rebuttal. It's, it's a product of the, like, the life we live. Like, ESPN, these two people are just arguing different takes. CNN's doing the same thing. It's just people arguing back and forth. Yeah, for sure. We're becoming, and they're not listening to each other. We're becoming more accustomed to watching people, like, argue instead of listening. For sure. And that's, that's not how you solve problems. Sometimes you're not gonna have the answer. Sometimes when someone tells you something, like, you're just gonna have to like listen and nod. Someone tells you something like they're venting. Like, there's nothing you can do to help. You just tell them like, I'm listening to you. I can't help, I'm sorry I can't, but you can keep going. Or if there's anything I can do, let me know. So just don't assume like, I gotta respond, I gotta have an answer. Second one is ask questions. This is like, I'm not saying I'm the best at this whole dating thing since I've been single for like my whole life. But one of the easy ways to like become a better listener is every time someone talks, ask questions about it. Where are you from? I'm from, let's say Kansas. We're at in Kansas. From blah, blah, blah. Is that a big or a small city? How many people are in your high school? Where'd you go to college at? Like if, you, if you're an active listener, you should have a question to everything. Sure. And then when you ask questions, you can get dive a little bit deeper in, and then you find some common ground and you build on it. And if you, whenever you're asking questions of them, what you're also doing is you're letting them fully explain their opinions. So they're going to be more likely to listen to you back because they know you're listening to them by asking informative questions. So ask questions, have a better conversation just by asking questions, exactly. by actual listening. Exactly. I'm liking this whole listening thing right now. Let's keep this going. Let's keep this flow going. I'm liking it. You could try eye contact because if we're talking right here and I'm like, yeah, Tim, I got you. I'm feeling like I'm getting ignored. And also, I know no one that can text and talk at the same time. Not fully. <laughs> I definitely try. <laughs> I definitely try. <laughs> I can't do it at all, which makes it even more dangerous if people are texting and driving. That's a whole nother topic. Like, you can't multitask, like keep eye contact just to show you're paying attention. There's nothing worse than like trying to explain a serious situation to somebody or being like something that's urgent and just like, you're not paying attention to me. Indeed, indeed. The next step, like you can be empathetic. So this isn't like, oh, my dog died. Don't be like, oh, my dog died too. Don't make it always about you. I. Someone tells you that, be like, I'm sorry to hear that. I can't imagine what you're going through. If you need anything, I got you. Like, keep it short and simple. Oh, my mom died of cancer. Like, 
don't try to one up the story. Basically, yes. don't yes. try to top. Oh, your tragedy over. Oh, my tragedy was worse. So boom, actually listen to what they're talking like about. It, it doesn't have to be about you. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So listening is okay. It's not about me. Whenever I listen, got you. I'm just trying to you know put it all together. <laughs> so check your assumptions at the door. Sometimes when someone like this is number five on the tips, I should probably be labeling these off. Cinco. Cinco. So like check your assumptions at the door. Sometimes when somebody starts telling you a story, you assume things like, well, I was at so and so. Wait for them to go past. I was at so-and-so party and I saw my ex, my ex. You can assume they didn't like that, but you should ask, like, did you, how'd you feel about that? Were you happy to see them, blah, blah, blah. Well, actually, right. we have a positive relationship, so that's okay. That can change how you totally think about the story. Yeah, and that's something so little, too. Yeah, like, so to check your assumptions at the door. Because you really, like, you are always going to assume things, but you should make sure what you're assuming is true, which is another way to listen and ask more questions. Don't interrupt them. And do it. <laughs> oh, we're going to say that every single podcast from now on. Yeah, for sure. You guys got to get used to the new movie. <laughs> Funniest word in the human language. <laughs> Thank you, Kawhi. <laughs> like, don't interrupt them. Like, if you're telling a story and someone's just, like, cuts you off, it's just like, I want to punch you right now. Yeah, it's definitely frustrating. <laughs> Especially if y'all are trying to work towards a solution. Like, if you're just getting cut off, it's just like, I'm done. You might not agree at all on their opinion, but if you let them finish, I guarantee you, even if they 100% disagree with you, they'll listen to yours like, all the way through. And if they don't, you should just not communicate with that person at all, for sure. Listening to somebody fully will help you solve that issue versus creating another one, because that frustration adds on to whatever issue you're talking about anyways. So I completely agree. Like, there's nothing nothing worse than being interrupted constantly by the same person. <laughs> it also shows just a lack of respect. Ultimate lack of respect. Like you don't respect my opinion enough to listen to it. Which means like your relationship with that person, probably not on the best of terms. Whenever you need something done with them, like, you can tell them like, hey, you need to do this. And they might know you're right, but they'll deliberately not do it just because like this person doesn't respect me enough to listen to me. I'm not gonna do this. Indeed. Body language, sometimes you listen with your body. Man, yeah. for me personally, body language is like the most important thing in the world. Why is that? Because for me, I'm paying attention more to how you're acting and moving your arms, your facial expressions and everything more than what you're actually saying. Like to me, it means so much more how you're saying it than what you're actually saying. Ding, 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 Tim. That was exactly what I was going to say, so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Legit. So I guess I only got nine tips. Try to keep the distractions to a minimum. Because if you're, like, listening is hard. I think this, the fact that everyone struggles at it and we got to go through eight to nine tips just shows that, like, listening is hard. It is. So keeping distractions to a minimum absolutely help. And summarize what they just said. So if you know you're a bad listener, when the conversation's over, just be like, so we're gonna do this here, and then we can be at this time, boom. Or, so this happened with this person at this time, and you feel this way about it. That way they know you've listened to them. I hear that, I like that. Man, the thing about listening, people don't like to acknowledge they're bad listeners. Like sometimes you really have to do, you no, know, talk to yourself, hey, what can I do better to actually listen more? Because right now, I'm a terrible listener. I promise you, like, of course, you can't sit still, man. man, for sure. But at the same time, I could, I could still practice to get better at it. And that's something that until, until I decided to do the research on this, I realized, man, I could actually practice on becoming a better listener. That's not going to only help myself, but that's going to help my wife, my kids, my, my track athletes, my future kids that I have, my family, my friends, everybody, because I'm going to help listen to their problems. So in what way do you feel like you need to be a better listener the most? Like what tip? The, the number one tip that I got, everything that I read, everything that you said, I have to stop thinking about what I'm going to say while they're speaking. I have to literally just keep a complete blank slate and listen to everything for it. You sound like Mike Tyson counterpunching. Like, I see you loading up, I'm gonna get you. Yeah, no, seriously, that's, I get clowned on a lot, man. <laughs> a lot, I'm growing up, obviously, you know, roast sessions, you're in the cafeteria and with your friends, whatever, they're just going at you, you know what I mean? It happens every now and then. And 
mentally I'm like, oh, I gotta figure something out to say really quick because I'm not too witty, you know? So <laughs> I kind of like carry that to everything, like no matter what, whether it's an argument or something positive, it doesn't matter. I always think about what I'm gonna say next. And I'm at this point, I've really been practicing like, this whole entire week of not thinking about what to say, just going with the flow of conversations. Conversations have definitely been a, a different as well. Definitely been a little bit more in tune. My body language has been a little bit different. It's working for sure. And it's only been, you know, I want to say like five days of me actually attempting this. Like literally, like we're talking five days. But the best part about listening to me, we talked about suicide a couple weeks ago. We talked about sexual assault last week. Now we're talking about listening. Just by listening, working on listening, becoming a better listener, you could help prevent suicide. You can help prevent sexual assaults. Listening is way more important to what people think. It's time that you guys understand Sam, that. It's time that we talk about it more like we're talking about it now. Have you ever met someone that like was completely against something and then when they learned something about it like they weren't about the topic they weren't against it anymore 100 percent. so like i know someone they're like i don't understand transgender you're either a guy or you're a girl right and then they met someone and like they were they didn't know that, that person was transgender and so they're going off going off going off and then they're like actually i know someone that is and i told the story it's like well I don't really agree with that. And then they said like, actually I'm transgender. And they were like, mind blown. So if you listen, like you listen to sexual assault victims, you listen to suicide victims, you can learn and you can change it for the better. Agreed, man, agreed. I actually had something else. Man, I lost it in that story. It was <laughs> really good too. Tim, keep keep talking about what else you're gonna be doing. All right, don't man. think about it. Um. Talk about what else we're gonna do. Talk about what facts you're gonna listen to. All right, man, we can talk about some more facts. I mean, mine basically back up everything that JP said. You know, stop talking. Um, put yourself in the speaker's shoes so you can think deeper into the conversation instead of actually focusing on what you're about to say. Focus on using um, inviting body language instead of that. Turning to the side, looking away, or texting, you know, remove distractions and stuff like that. You know, it, it's pretty much your nine steps summarize all the steps that I have because I have quite a bit, but. I got it. JP got it. So we're going to stop talking about the same thing that he talked about. And we're going to get to his part. <laughs> so like listening isn't a race. Sometimes you can say more with less. So it's not like a rush to finish. You were talking about how like, I'm always thinking about what to say next. Like it's okay to have a pause in conversation sometimes. Like if it's, so, if it's quiet time, like that doesn't mean like you have to look at your phone because this is awkward. Like you're thinking about what they said and you're responding accordingly. Sometimes you can say more with less by listening better. So you're saying patience is important for listening. You have to be patient because some because nothing in life is like that easy. Like if we're talking about something, it's gonna be super complicated. So you have to have the patience to listen to it. Man, I think we should do an episode over patience. Hmm. The power of patience. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk about it. <laughs> I like it too. I like it. But, uh, you all should tell us if you like it. Yeah, that's true. We should start shouting out the Gmail too. No, 100%. We definitely should. At the positive true Gmail. I just shouted it out. <laughs> so what else do you have for us, JP? Well, I think the one that I'm going to focus on the most is like body language. So if I don't like someone, I will listen to everything they say, but I will do it in a very condescending way. And I know I do this. <laughs> so if I'm at work, and there's someone new and they're telling me what to do. Most you know, frustrating like, thing ever. Oh my gosh. And like, I, I, I already told you this isn't gonna work, right? And then you're telling me, and so I'll listen to them, but I'll do one of these. I'll be like, hmm. Or like, I'll listen to, like, I'll, I'll do the thing where I'll look directly in their eyes for like the first two sentences, and I'll just like fade. And then whenever it happens later, I'll just be like, boom, 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 boom. jp has got to work on body language, guys. <laughs> He's got to work on body language. I bet every new person at your job, like, I can't stand that Steph Curry looking guy. <laughs> I'm good with, I'm, actually, I don't think I have, I might have beef with someone at work, but I don't know about it. But it's just one of those things where it's like, I mean, you can't talk and listen at the same time. Which is a really good tip. That should be tip 11. No, that, that that's tip. I thought you only had nine, yeah? Well, the tenth one was it's not a race. Oh, dude, that is true. Yeah. yeah. I like what you did there. Number 11. 
you can't talk and listen at the same time, but like, I'm just at work, I'm just, I can be condescending with the way I do my body language. Especially when I know something bad's going to happen, if you perceive, and I don't want to argue with you. So I will listen to what's going on. Be like, mm-hmm, let you do it. And then be like, so what were you saying? And then like, when I ask you, it's very condescending and I definitely need to work on that. It's one of my flaws in life. But we should talk about tip 11. No, tip 11, you're, you're absolutely right. You can't talk and listen at the same time. I think that story was hilarious, but that's cool that you you realize you have to work on that. And that's... <laughs> and I do that often. I think I do that in everything I do in life, to be honest. But yeah, like you can't talk and listen. So have you ever seen two people talking about a conversation and it just feels like they're yelling at each other? Oh, every single time. And it should be a peaceful conversation. I see that so often. Matter of fact, me and the wife do that all the time. We're talking about the same thing. We're going at it. <laughs> we just don't like to listen. That's something that we definitely have to work so on. So it's like, <laughs> like they're just... Like you like, you start speaking and the other person's speaking too. And so you like, you're just like stacking the story on each other. It's just, you're saying the same thing, guys, get it together. I can see like Captain, my dog, just sitting there looking at us like, if y'all don't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and give me a ball so we can go play fetch. That's it, man. Man, he's been on that Frisbee game lately though, catching out of the air and stuff. But what, what is that thing, um, you have two ears and one mouth, so you should listen twice as much as you talk? Mm, exactly. You really can't talk and listen. Like we were talking about, like eye contact, body language, don't get interrupted. But you can't text and listen at the same time. You damn sure can't talk and listen at the same time. Damn sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. So let's have everyone take one of these tips, apply it to their life, try to be a better listener. I agree. Tim, you got a positive quote for us? I do, man. We were just talking about, you know, you can't talk and listen at the same time. And as soon as I pull up this quote, I was like, this is perfect. The quote is, listen and silent are spelled with the same letters. Think about it. What? It is true. It is. I know. I'm looking at the picture. I'm like, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> that is true, man. So, I mean, that worked out perfectly. Stay quiet a little bit more. Listen a little bit more. Let's help make our world a better place. Also, a like... More positive. Everyone likes people to listen to them. So you being a better listener, it's going to have better relationships with you, better, more effective communication, and more people are going to like you. Have more friends, for sure. We all need more friends, right? Maybe not all, but we need people we can trust. <laughs> <laughs> this is coming from the person that has 3,000 friends on Facebook, Tim. Man, Facebook, I can put whatever I want. I'm not real in there. It's my superhero life. <laughs> <laughs> That's Tim the Flash McCoy right there. Indeed. We are The Positive Truth. We will be back next Friday, this Monday. We're going to have uplifting and positive news. Stay positive. We're out. Stay positive.